this here is my original tray loading iMac G3. It is one of my favorite parts of my collection. I picked it up years ago in a big lot of iMacs and I kept this one because it was my favorite. It has a nice green hue. Looks great. It's always worked really well. It is very low end. This machine only has a 333 megahertz PowerPC G3. And as for other things, we have a six gigabyte drive. And it has 288 or 89 megabytes of built-in memory. So what I'm going to be do doing with this today, excuse me, is I have found recently an upgrade in my area that I have never seen before. And I'm not sure if anyone else has really seen these lately. I found this in box and it is a straight up stick and upgrade for this iMac. So let's take a look. So here it is, the iMac power CPU upgrade for iMacs from newer technology. This is a way supposedly to increase your iMac speed, play games faster, total hardware and software compatibility and no worse new software updates required. So it is a purely drop in G3 card. So I'll just give you a second if you want to check that out. I'm not going to be reading all of this. So essentially what it's going to do is it's going to accelerate iMacs that have 233 to 333 megahertz processors, which mine definitely has. And it runs on the same software, nothing to add, nothing to change. And it works with every iMac version up to and including OS 9, which my other iMac runs. So this will be what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to open the box and just see what was inside. Okay, so let's just take off that. And we'll open it up. First things first is a CD, which includes demo software from Aladdin, uh, Aspire, Bitheads, Bungie, and an installer and product info. So from what the seller told me, this has a video on it that should tell you how to install the upgrade as well. They have printed out how to do it as well. And I have to tell you, they were a smoker and this does not smell great. Also inside, excuse me, are some other upgrades that they offer. I actually have some of these already in some of my machines. This one, for example, the bookends, I was able to find one. And this should be the CPU. And there we go. So you know it is not the original. It has a new label on it, newer technology incorporated. And there is the processor. Now this, from what I was able to see, is, excuse me, an official Apple board, as you can see right there. So what I believe they've done is they, you could send in your board and they'll replace the processor with this one. And this is the one they sell. So right there, the 466. Now, I ran some benchmarking software on the iMac already. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be taking apart the iMac. I will put this one in. I'm not going to change anything. The RAM, hard drive, everything stays the same. And we're going to see if it actually makes any bit of a difference and maybe compare it to some of my other machines. So I'm going to drop this in and we'll be right back. Now for the real test, we're going to take this iMac over here that I just upgraded and we're going to compare the benchmarks between this machine and this one right here. I believe this is a 500 megahertz G3. I have upgraded the hard drive to an 80 gigabyte model. It runs 9.2 as well, and it has one gigabyte of RAM. So let's take a look at the results. Now to benchmark the iMac, what I did was I looked up online 
uh, OS 9 benchmarking software, and I was able to find two of them. One of them I found through Macintosh Garden, which is MacBench 5.0. I also found another one called Benchmark 1000, which I believe is from Haxial, Haxial Benchmark. I don't think the company exists anymore. Um, but looking through this, if we take a look, when we ran the MacBench 5, what I noticed is it takes your CPU and compares its power to a G3 300. Now, according to this, it runs at about 850, and the G3 is a 1000 score. Now, if we go to after the upgrade, we went from 850 to about 1315, which is about 500 points, which is a pretty substantial difference. So I ran the same exact test on the Snow iMac, and I got 997. It's a bit odd, considering it's a 500 megahertz processor compared to a 300 megahertz. So I ran another benchmark here, which is the benchmark 1000. Again, it is another CPU and RAM test, so the total time it took about 2 minutes and 53 seconds pre-upgrade, and the average speed of the data is here, 68.6. Now if we go to post-upgrade, it ran in about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so that is a pretty sizable difference, and it sped up to 74.8. So the, the speed of the process was faster, and it was taking in more information. Now, if you compare it to the Snow, so the Snow iMac with the 500 megahertz processor, excuse me, ran at minute 54, which is a much, much faster time than the pre-upgrade iMac. And again, the speed of the test, the amount of data it was able to handle was almost about double of the post-upgrade iMac. So it is a sizable upgrade depending on what you're doing with this. It is great that this upgrade is just a simply drop-in upgrade for all intents and purposes, there was no preparation I had to do. Simply disassemble, take out the old processor, put in the new processor, and we're done. I highly recommend if you could find one in the wild, if one shows up locally, buy it. You will not regret the upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.